When you're done with your article, remember this doesn't have to be a masterpiece, I want you to click on um, Save, which is going to save your changes and bring you back to the Article Manager. It's going to say Successfully Saved Article. Okay. Is everyone done with their article? Yes? Even though you're still typing, you're done with your article? And everyone published it on the front page, because you can see here that there's a check next to it if you published it on the front page. Does it have to select a section? Yeah. There's a drop down for sections. Do you see that? Uh -huh. So choose a section and a category and click on Save. Is everyone back at the article manager right now? Yes. Yes. Feel free to be vocal. Say yes, yes, yes I'm back at the article manager. Now I want you to go back to the first tab that you had open for the front end of the website, right here, and I want you to refresh, which if you're using Firefox is this thing up here, this circle thing. Can everyone see their article that they just created on the front page of the website? Yes? yes. Anyone, anyone lost? Nobody's lost. You can also tell me to stop asking that, but I probably won't. OK, very good. So what we did so far is we saw there are sections, one or more. There are categories, one or more. And there are articles, which there usually are a lot of articles. You created an article, you published it on the front page, and you see that it appears instantly on the front page of your website. Now, this site is live. Anyone can be here. Anyone can visit it, which means anything you do is instantly updated on the website. So if you do anything weird, it's going to show up immediately, too. OK, just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, this is. <coughs> Joomla makes a separation between content and design. Content is your sections, your categories, your articles, all the stuff you have on your website. And design is the template. This color layout, the way the menus are set up, everything like that is part of the design. Okay? In Joomla, we call it design templates. There are Joomla templates. Joomla templates can be installed into your website and applied to your website. And there are a couple of other templates on here right now. We're going to go back to the back end. You're going to click on that tab. Go to Extensions and Template Manager. So I'm going to click on Template Manager. And I'm going to apply a different template. I'm going to click on this circle next to number 5, RHUK Milky Way. And I'm going to click on Default. And you can do this too. Okay, now this is the default template. Now what this means is if you click on the tab for the front end of the website and you refresh, this is going to look very different. Okay, the content is still the same, but the template is different. In this case, the template includes this Joomla logo, includes this, it includes the menu up here. If I go back here and I choose a different template, and then I go back to the front end and refresh again, it's going to look different again. Okay. Let's go back here. Question. Yep. Um, once a website is created in Joomla, um, and you want to change the touch feel of that template, um, there's a seamless ability to do that. You can go out and get another template, and mm -hmm. just do point click, and you've got an entirely different. That, that's a common feature of Joomla. It is. There are a few limitations on that. Okay. There's a few things you have to kind of set up when you do that. But, but yes, it is pretty much. High, high, very high percentages touch and nothing done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, online, I clicked a different template, and it goes off the screen. Is that unusual? Which like, JA line? Yeah, I see that it's doing that. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're, we're going to go back right now to Optimus Free. So make Optimus Free your default. Optimus Free is obviously a free template. There are commercial templates and there are free templates. Commercial templates usually run around $40, although some places have like subscriptions where you can get access to all their templates for a yearly or monthly fee. And there's a lot of different companies that sell templates. So if you go onto Google and you search Joomla templates, and there's a list in your material as well of major template providers. Um, you can make your own. Um, if you're going to make your own, you do need to understand CSS. Um, and there are plenty of books that explain exactly how to make a Joomla template. It's basically CSS with some PHP stuff to pull things in, like content and different sections. It's not terribly difficult to do if you know CSS. Can we edit the, the templates that are in here with like our own logos? Yes. And change the font yes. Size and 
But again, CSS is really what you want. Some of these templates that you install will have some parameters in there where you can actually change, let's say, the font size without having to edit anything. Um, we can take a look and see if Optimus Free has any parameters. I'm going to click on Optimus Free. And here, so this, this is, um, changes the logo height if you had an image there, but we have text instead. This changes um, the typeface. There's two options here. The default page width, you can make it fluid or fixed. Um, no. So right now, actually, if, does everyone at this page go into the JA, JS Optimus Free? And what we want to do actually right now is change the header headline to the actual name of your business, that of your new business site. Can everyone see where to do that? No. Okay. So let's, I'm going to backtrack a second. I'm going to close this so that you all can catch up with me. I went to Extensions Template Manager, and then I saw a list of templates. I clicked on JS Optimus Free. I actually clicked on it, and it brought me up this page. Does everyone now see where this page is? OK. So where it says here, your new business, blah, blah, delete that and type in the actual name of your business. And then underneath your site slogan, if you have a slogan, you can put it in there. That's not my slogan, by the way. I'm just, you know. Okay. Now, if you click apply when you're done, when you apply, your changes are saved and you are brought back to the same page again to continue making changes. So click on apply. It's going to say this is unwritable and you're going to ignore that. Okay. Go back to the front end and refresh. Can you back up? Is it apply or save? Apply will let you continue making changes. Save will bring you back to the previous page. Either of them will work fine. In this case, we clicked on Apply. Does everyone have their own headline and logo, I mean, and, and uh, slogan on the front end of the website at this point? Does anyone not have their own? Yes. You do. OK. So remember, the way we edited this, this was actually a parameter of the template. The, J the JS Optimus Free template lets you do this. Each template has its own ways of doing things. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's true. So there are templates where you can do this. There are templates where you cannot do this. And there are other ways to edit things like this. But in this case, it's very easy. You just type in the text. Okay. Good question about templates. The subscription approach seems to offer like an ongoing update, which they're, they're counting as a potential value as opposed to buying something. And then three years or, or a year later, there's a Joomla 1.8. Well, the templates themselves are not, templates really don't need updates. Um, Joomla needs updates. The template is kind of separate. Um, so I wouldn't take that as a major advantage to getting a subscription. Also, um, they don't update templates very often. Um, yes, yeah, so that's really not much of an issue. Um, basically, the template clubs, it depends on if you're going to make a lot of websites, like a lot of Joomla websites, it makes sense to have a subscription where you can you know, do a certain number of, of, use a certain number of templates. If you're making one website, subscription is probably not that handy, unless it's the only way to get the template you want. Can we incorporate a caffeine tile sh style sheet mm -hmm. into Joomla? Joomla is all about CSS. So this template, if you look into it, are you, are you good with CSS? Not really. OK, so this is something to explore, basically, uh, later on your own time. But if you go into, um, and we're getting a little bit off track, so we'll just go quickly. I'm going to close this because we made our changes. We already saved them. But when you click on JS Optimus Free, one of the options up here is to edit the CSS. And if you get in there, you know, everyone close your eyes if you're scared of CSS, OK? It's going to give you a long list of CSS files in this case, although sometimes it's just one. And it's going to start showing you CSS. And if you know what this means, great. And if you don't, don't look at it. OK. okay? But yes, everything is editable. Um, back stuff up before you do stuff like that, but yes. Okay.